<laughs> I wanted it pretty bad. You know, I haven't had the ball in my hands uh, here in a while. I was trying to make it happen, though. Uh, just our normal, uh, normal read. Guy was trying to push me vertical. He ended up crossing my face, trying to break on the out. Uh, I made a good, pretty good break and got a good break on the ball. Uh, just stay on top. You know, they're a big, they're an explosive play team. They look for the big play every series. They're out there. Uh, we just want to stay on top, limit the explosive plays, and try to make them drive down the field and earn it. Really. Uh, we weren't worried, you know. Uh, they game plan something, and they came out and they uh, they executed well the first play. They're in a better call than us. Uh, can't take nothing too serious. You just gotta it's next next down mentality. Got to be ready for the next play. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that to the people that are in charge of all of that. You know, uh, you know, I got my own opinion. I'm keep it to myself, but hey, we'll see what happens. Oh, no, nah, we have our goals set. We know what we want to do. That's, that wasn't one of our goals coming into this, try to be a top 25 team or anything like that. Uh, we just want to win games, uh, win our bowl game with class and integrity and uh, win the Mountain West. What about the number one ranking on your defense? You know, Lance Lyle, fast efficiency defense. Even if that late touchdown uh, may hurt that, you got something to upset you? Uh, we still won the game. We have more points than them at the end of the day, so uh, that's all that matters. Um, yeah, I think it's special for the alumni, you know, it's big for the alumni, everybody gets to come back, uh, get to come back at this time too, while we're playing, playing pretty good football, get, everybody gets to come back, enjoy the game, uh, see us try to bring back that Bulldog tradition and stuff, so I think it's more special for everybody here in the past. Oh uh, yeah, Whalen, uh, he's a great young player, man. He's a be here for a couple of years, and he's a be a tremendous player. Uh, he's he was ready for it, you know. Uh, he met with me a lot this week, though. He's a, he asked a lot of questions. That's how I know he's a be a, a good player. Um, not too much I had to teach him. Just uh, he just wants to be positive. Or he wants to be correct on some things, little little stuff like that. He wants to make sure he's one hundred percent right all the time. So he was ready for the moment. Not too much I had to tell him. Uh, <laughs> it tells you what type of player he is. You know, it says a lot about him. It says a lot about his skill set, what he can do, and uh, how he's versatile enough to move around and execute at a high level still at such a young age, too. Uh, no, uh, that's that's next week. So we'll be we're starting to get ready for UNLV next week. They were weren't in our thought at all this week, honestly. Uh, what, what do you mean by that? I'm sorry. Well, I mean, you know, you guys aren't too high or too low. You know, you're not worried about rankings. You're not worried about, you know, anything that's right in front of you. And is that a reflection of him? Or is he, is that stuff that he's kind of, you know, bearing down on you guys on about things with him about that other outside stuff? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, Coach Shepard does a good job on uh, keeping us focused on what our goals are ahead of us, not letting us get too far ahead of ourselves. And, Looking at the big picture, just taking it week by week. You know, he emphasizes it a lot, and I think everybody kind of takes it in and uh, listens to him about them. All right, thank you, Drew. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys.